Today we wanted to put out a video going over the Cybex Pre-M Lux Carry Cot specifically, which is not actually a necessity for the newborn period when going with the Pre-M, since a Lux seat has a sufficiently flat, newborn acceptable recline, but which a lot of parents opt to get anyway for the added protection and comfort that a bassinet brings. And starting off with some basic stats, the Lux Carry Cot weighs in at 5 kilos, which is a tad on the heavy side for full-size bassinets, but not too bad, and has internal dimensions measuring 82 centimeters long, 39 centimeters wide, and 21 centimeters deep. The Carry Cot is approved for overnight sleeping, in the EU at least, though I'd note here that different countries have widely different recommendations when it comes to this, and in the end, it's all up to what you're comfortable with. As far as ventilation goes, the Lux Carry Cot sports both a panel at the back of the canopy, as well as a larger panel at the bassinet's head, which, when combined, open up the Carry Cot quite a bit. And the baseboard also has slits in the plastic as well, though how much this does for additional cooling is questionable, since the bottom of the bassinet is covered with textiles and the mattress is relatively thick. As far as the canopy goes, it provides acceptable sun coverage, especially when buttoning up the storm cover and using the sun flap, though there's a little bit of space around the handle that will let light in, and it wouldn't have hurt to make the canopy a tad more extendable as well in my opinion. The Lux Carry Cot attaches to the stroller via the same adapters that one can use for car seats, which is good for an easier swapping out of elements, the fact that the adapters themselves have been designed for an extra tight fit to keep the bassinet from wobbling, and of course, in that they raise the bassinet up to a higher position, where it's more convenient to attend to your baby. When it comes to the mechanical elements of the bassinet, the buttons for removing the carry cot from the chassis are memory buttons, meaning that they can be operated with one hand, which is nice, though I'd note here that you do need to remove the bassinet when folding the stroller, which is not the case with some competing models. The bassinet has a handle on the canopy for easier carrying, a setup that I've always found handy, but that also unfortunately puts a lot of stress on the canopy hinges, and while they're built pretty sturdily in this case, I would expect a bit of loosening here over time. Lastly, I'd note that the Lux Carry Cot is not the easiest to collapse flat, using the older standard system of a pair of braces under the mattress, and having a series of somewhat weak buttons apt to come undone during the process. So, while you can make it smaller when you need to, I wouldn't get it if you'll need to collapse it flat all the time to negotiate life with smaller trunk space. In any case, that's all I have to say about the Pre-M Lux Bassinet separate from the stroller, though we do also have an in-depth review of the current Pre-M itself that I've linked in the description. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description as well. Thank you.